With season 11 right around the corner, there is going to be another way you can finally pick up the Bighorn Legendary Assault Rifle, and that is going to be farming for it in the Dark Zone. However, at this point, we have yet to be given a date on when season 11 is actually going to come out. Therefore, today I wanted to show you one of the most efficient ways you can farm for the Bighorn in the game. Now, this is something that I have highlighted at the channel before, but I wanted to share it with you once again today. What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and to be abundantly clear as we start this video off, if you have seen any of my previous videos on how to get the Bighorn, there is nothing different between those videos and this one. You can totally click off. My feelings will not be hurt. This is for new and returning players. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the difficulty and this can only drop on legendary difficulty. Recently I've been getting a lot of messages asking me can you get it in Countdown or can you get it from the General Anderson mission? The answer is absolutely not at this point in the game it's only on legendary so you need to make sure you set that when you get to the summit now as far as directives go remember that is going to have an impact of the quantity of the type of targeted loot that drops not the quality i will show you an example of what i'm referring to later in the video now when it comes to choosing your targeted loot because it is a legendary exclusive in theory it can drop from any targeted loot whatsoever now for me in my own gameplay i've only gotten it to drop when the assault rifle is the targeted loot but have heard from a lot of you out there and you said you were farming in the summit on legendary difficulty you were looking for let's say a certain gear set or mod or skill attachment and out of nowhere a big horn drops on the ground so keep your head on a swivel agents because it can drop from any npc at any time whatsoever now getting to the farming method itself and again to be clear this is something i've shown you multiple times at the channel you want to get yourself to floor 10 of the summit. And to be clear, this can be done on floor 10, 20, 30, any one of the 10th floors whatsoever. I just happen to be a fan of floor 10. Now, once I get here, I'm going to focus on taking out all the NPCs that are currently in the room. And once that takes place, you will see a second wave of NPCs and that is where the named enemy will be. Now, the most important thing about this entire farm is you cannot clear the floor entirely. If you do, you will not be able to farm this spot over and over again and see a name boss every single time you do so so what i do is i take out the named boss immediately pick up the loot then at that point i open up my menu fast travel back to the lobby then i can rinse and repeat as many times in a row as i like and the other great thing about making sure you fast travel is that when you load back into the game let's say you play for you know an hour or whatever it is you do some farming you stop to quit once you log back into the game you will be put back at floor 10 so you can do this farm as many times in a row as you like now you can also get the big horn from legendary strong Strongholds. However, in my opinion, this is one of the most efficient ways to try to pick it up. Now, at this point, there happen to be a few more details I'd like to go over really quick, and one of which is talking about directives, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Now, you can see in that first attempt, and when I say first attempt, I mean my first attempt of the day. I've been trying to put this footage together for this video for the last few days. What I do is this. I try like 10, 15 times in a row if I don't have any luck. I log out, log back in, try again, so on and so forth. So today, when I was able to log in, I was able to pick it up. Up. But my point is, the amount of directives you have active should increase the amount of the targeted loot you get from a named enemy. So for instance, if you have, let's say, six pieces of loot dropped from that boss, there's a higher percentage that the majority of that loot should be the type of loot that you're trying to farm for. For me, in this case, it'd be assault rifles because that's what I've chosen. However, you're going to see in this run, with no directives active, six pieces of loot drop from the boss, and one of which is my targeted loot, which is the assault rifle. Then on my run after that, I have four directives is active and I still only get one assault rifle out of six pieces of gear that drop now I have no idea if this is something that's been going on in the game for a while to be honest with you I haven't really been farming the summit that much and I usually don't play this game with directives on at all but if that is something you do in your gameplay let me know if you've noticed a decrease in the amount of targeted loot you're getting and I'll see what I can find out a few more things real quick then I'm going to wrap this up. First of all, we'll talk about builds. Now, I recently put out a video showing you two of my favorite legendary builds. One is a skill build, which you're seeing here. The other is a legendary tank build, and I will leave a link to that video in the description down below. That way, you can check them out anytime you want, put something together that you enjoy using. Keep in mind, there are much more aggressive builds out there. I haven't put one together that I use on a regular basis. And as most of you know, I want to make sure I highlight things that I use at the channel, so that way you can see how I actually 
actually get the stuff done. Now, the other question I had the other day was, does your shade level have an impact on whether you're able to actually complete legendary content? And the answer is yes and no. Obviously, you want your shade level as high as possible because that will have an impact on the amount of damage you can put out, how much damage you can take, things like that. But I know people that have shade levels well under a thousand, they are able to shred legendary difficulty. And that is because of the gear they have, which is the most important thing. And it may take you a while to get certain pieces of gear that you're looking for, but you'll see in my legendary builds, even though things are not perfect, it is still a build that can get the job done. With all that being said, I'm going to start to wrap this up. As always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your amazing support of this channel and remind you if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as I said earlier, the main reason I wanted to put this together was for new and returning players because I do like to put up updated versions of videos I've done in the past. That way you know it is still a viable way to get something in the game and I sincerely hope this helps out. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out and as I mentioned in every video, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor real quick and hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Hostile.